America. For how long have you been coming to school with your phone? Erica, you know this is a school and they have rules and regulations. You're not supposed to come to school with your phone. The worst part of it is the content of the phone. Oh my god. You need to see it. But mom, I'm not at fault here. Miss Victoria is the one who went through my stuff without my permission. You told me that anybody who goes through your stuff without the permission is an offense, right? Is that shut up! I said shut up. Um, please, Mrs. Victoria. Is there no way we can fix this here? Please, not suspension. You can't suspend my child. Please, I don't even know what to tell her father. I beg you, I will talk to her. I'm she will so be a changed person. I'm so sorry, madam. My hands are tight. There's nothing else I can do. The decision has been made. Why, why am I being suspended? It's not my fault. Miss Victoria is one who took my stuff. I mean, God, why is everybody just saying it's my fault? Oh, God. Let's go home! What do you mean it's my fault? How would I have done it differently, Jeffrey? Tell me! How do you blame it for the kids? Why? To guide them. To lead them. To scold them if need be. Instead, you dedicated 99.9% .9 of your time to, 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 to your work. That's a very selfish thing to say. You know, those were the early things of my career. I had to put in the work. Oh, bravo. Clap for yourself. Hmm? Now see where putting in the work has gotten us into. First house help in six months. Oh, because they don't want to stay with your kids. Are they not your kids? Answer me, Jeff. So what happens to you? Taking good care of them and teaching them what they need to know. Answer me. See, um, I do not have time for this. Because some of us have real jobs to take care of. Oh, you. please, Jeffrey, do not bully me with your job. I am not jobless. You know what? If you can't take care of the kids, just leave them. Jeffrey, you lie. You are the man of this house. You have to up good options, okay? Mom, please can't me run half water. Are you kidding me? Well, Erica can do it. She can, but she won't. Uh, she told me to shut up. You called me big head. Hey, hey, it's okay, fine. Get up, get up, 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 up. Now, to the shower. You will get ready for school, okay? Hurry up! <laughs> Girls, what are you still doing here? Why are you going to school? The car is dirty, so Magnus is still cleaning it. Are you not late for school? No. Get up and go to school. Uh, Mom, are you seriously asking us to go to school in a dirty car? That's not good hiding, Mom. Oh, really? So did anyone pour their spin in the car? No, but still, you shouldn't be scolding us because we're already ready to go to school, but we found out that Marcus is still cleaning it. Erica, you girls should have gone to school. When he gets back, he would clean the car. Now get up! Now! Get up, Mom! There is no way we're going to school in a dirty car. What do you think our friends is going to say about us? They'll call us dirty children from the slum, Mom. And will make a mockery of us for a month. Especially the girls sitting here and our friends. No. Magnus, please don't be a car. Get up. Get up? Are you sure, Mom? Because it doesn't seem like it. Erica, are you asking me that question? No. Get up! Don't go to school! Cut your head like your father's head. Rubbish.
Agnes! Come out! You think I have not seen you? Ah. Good afternoon. There's nothing good about this afternoon. The khakis. Ah, khakis. Ah. You never reach like that now. Eh, Mr. Okoro? Agnes, what is the agreement? Oga Okoro, this week has been very terrible for me. Every time this very will go spoil, I go fix him, he go spoil, I go fix him. I just they manage myself. As I say, so if you turn me upside down, she should not go drop. You know what the agreement is, but you want me to keep looking for you up and down. Even when you see me coming, you will go and hide. No, my, my... Agnes, I have better things to do with my time than to be chasing you up and down. Just give me this week. This week, as God don't bless me, I don't fix this car now. I go home, arrange myself. Agnes, I, will... I don't have this week to give you. Give me the car. Hey, Ogabi. Give me the car. Oh. So, Agnes, now that this man has collected the car, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? What do you want me to do? Should we go and meet him and talk to him? What else do you want me to say? I begged him and begged him. He said he has given the taxi to another person. The person is only waiting to come and collect it. So, what are you going to do? Oh, ah! I said I've spoken to him already. What do you want me to do again? Okay, oh, sorry. I was, I was just trying to help. I don't know. Because just... I don't know what you would do now. I'm just... He should carry the taxi and go, Jare. Uh, every day, if I fix taxi today, tomorrow another one don't spoil. Every day from one complaint to the other. Make it carry the single, I beg. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help. Because I don't know what you want to do now. I'm sorry. I don't know what I want to do. Okay, sorry. I'll be fine. So, when you bring this here, you form what? An arrow. Right? So, I want to go get some ice cream from the fridge. Now is not the time. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll soon round up so you can get it. I'm You're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. I, I didn't permit you to go. Ella! Erika, you've been on that phone since I got here. Drop it and pay attention to what I'm teaching you. Ash, I already told you that these kids do not need a nanny anymore. What do you mean they do not need a nanny? <laughs> Just listen to yourself. Our first child is 13 years old. The second is nine. They can be by themselves, fend for themselves until you come back from work. And what about what they will eat in their laundry? Uh, you prepare food in the morning before you leave for work. At least by the time they come back, they will microwave the food. Besides, Erica is old enough to have started preparing some dishes. Oh, Jeffrey, please. Stop it. I can't do that early rising. So I need to get up to get them ready for school, make their food, and still get to work? Hell no! Oh, no. Just maybe, just maybe, if you had done your job like every good mother, huh? By now you will not be complaining of these things. Erica is old enough to be taking some responsibilities in this house. We have everything to make their life easy. Huh? Microwave? Washing machine, vacuum cleaners, all you need to do is teach them. Jeffrey, you're not trying to say I'm a bad mother, are you? All I am saying is, do your job. I'm not going to let them wash the dishes or their laundry, okay? When the time is right, I will teach them all the things they need to know. For now, I am getting a nanny, and please, do not argue any further. Okay. Thank God. Happy the wife, is calling. happy home. Good afternoon. Hi. Um, good afternoon. We found some for Oh, you found one? Yes. Great. Um, please, yes, she can resume on Saturday. That's all right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Don't thank him yet, oh. 
Hopefully this one can last half a year. Cause there's no nanny in this house that's lasted up to three Why months. Nanny job. Do you think this is what you want? What will I do now? This is the only job offer that I'm getting. I don't want to turn it down. Let me go and try at least. Hmm. And do you think you can do the nanny job? Ah, my dear, at least the, the pay is better than the Uber job. This one, I don't have to pay Mr. Okoro and I don't have maintenance fee. It's better. Okay, oh, mm -hmm. I wish you the best. Eh? Just now, you have gotten another job. Hey, hey, yagi, yagi, your grace is strong. Oh. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Eh? You know, eh, this work is not as if it's going to be difficult, too, because it's just like me cleaning my house. You know, I like to clean. Yeah, yeah, hey, work now. The yeah, only yeah. difference is that I'll be getting paid for it this time. Hmm. And you think it is that easy? <laughs> By the time you start working from morning till night, your body will tell you, see, <clears throat> it's mopping floor, cooking, dusting, keeping the house clean. I even believe they'll have washing machine. Hey. And then, me too, I believe my room will have AC. Hey, yeah. So, <laughs> you'll be all right. <laughs> you like soft life. <laughs> no time. No, well, well, I'm happy for you, Sha. Mm. I'm happy for you. Your grace is very strong. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget me when you start enjoying it. As in, <laughs> I will. I'll let you know how everything goes. Yeah, come in. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. I'm the new nanny, ma. Ella, Erica, babies, Ella. Hi, babies. Come meet with your new nanny, um, Ella and Erica. How are you? Darling, I'm making beans. I don't want to eat beans. You don't? No. Why? Beans is actually very healthy and it's good for you at this age. Don't force us to eat what we don't want to eat. Thank you. Ella, what should we eat? Pasta. Good. Now drop the beans and make us pasta. And please be fast because we're really hungry. Good evening, Erica. Good evening, Ella. So you're not greeting me. I still won't answer my greeting. We didn't force you to greet us. So why forcing us to answer? Erica, when you see an older person, the first thing you do is greet that person. Greeting is an act of communication that people use to make their presence known. It mustn't always be children that greet first. Well, 
In this part of the world, greeting is a mark of respect you show to your elders. And you both had better learn that, else people see you as bad children. Who cares as if people see us as bad children by you? Your mom is complaining badly that your grades are getting worse by the day. Yet you have a home teacher, me. But you don't listen to me. You don't pay attention when I teach you. What is wrong with you both? Excuse me, do not shout at me and my sister like that, okay? Who do you think you are? You know what? We're not doing this so-called lesson again. So, Agnes, I want to take, um, Auntie Agnes. It's Auntie Agnes. Your name is Agnes, right? And besides, you are not my relation. So I don't know why I should be calling you Auntie. Well, because I'm older than you first. <sighs> what is wrong with everybody with this age thing? Is it a crime to be a minor? <sighs> age has nothing to do with title. Agnes, titles like aunties and uncle are not meant for people who are not your relation. Okay? So, before you interrupted me, I wanted to take oatmeal. But you've just had lunch. Yes, and now I want oatmeal. Do we have a problem? Put enough sugar and milk, okay? Thank you. I have started seeing the shiggy you were talking about. <laughs> what is the matter? <laughs> my madam's children will not kill me before my time. Will. Seriously? Naturally, work here is not supposed to be difficult or stressful. Because they have everything that one would need. But you see those children? Very disrespectful. Very rude. How can a 13-year-old child be doing like that? I'm telling you. Children of 13 and 9 cannot do anything for themselves. When you finish cleaning this place, in the next two minutes, they scattered it. Ah! <laughs> I'm telling you. This is so serious, so. The 13-year-old, that one is even the worst. That one. <laughs> one single respect, that girl does not have hope. The small one is even managing. She still has small respect, small conscience, but she's already following the footsteps of the senior one. Imagine that one telling me that she will not call me auntie because I'm not her relative. She calls me by my name as if we are mates. Full name. God is your strength. This one is too much for you. Mm. Their mother has a lot of work to do. Those children I'm seeing, if she doesn't do anything about them, they are gone. Gone. Try not to beat them or me. Me we go slap. See, I just hold myself. I will slap somebody's child. Ah, <laughs> you don't even understand. The way my body is doing me. Now to just slam this in head for all. You know, parents of nowadays can be so strict. The next thing they will report you for child assault. Eh, no problem, I heard you. <laughs> God, who knows how long this will work will last? Who knows? Okay. Well, Good night, good night. <laughs> Look at my two favorite humans in the whole <laughs> <laughs> My girls, huh? How have the girls been? Hope you've not been stressing your mommy. No, Dad, they've been good girls. Mm, are you sure? Are you yeah. sure? Ah, uh, Erica, please uh, help me call your mommy. Agnes! Agnes! Erica! Why will you call her Agnes? You can't call her by her name. Eh? For you, she's Auntie Agnes. Auntie Agnes. Say it louder. Auntie Agnes. Welcome, sir. Agnes, sir. Uh, would you be kind enough to take my bag upstairs and... If I could find something to eat, I would appreciate it. Okay, sir. Dad, <sighs> when am I going to start 
class kids in class. Oh, oh, Ella, but daddy just came back. Eh? Allow no. daddy to rest. No, dad, all of my friends in school have started. <sighs> okay. Ella, mm -hmm. I hear that um, both of you have not been paying attention. Your home lesson teacher told me that. Erica, is that true? No, it's not. And besides, she teaches me what I already know. And sometimes she's wrong. I see. She teaches you what you already know. Yet your grades are still poor. Eh, Erica? My grades are not poor, Dad. Maybe... Maybe what? Erica, until I start seeing great improvements in both of your grades, no skating class. Dad, but I don't want to agree. Listen, I've thought about it, and this decision is final. All right? Improve your grades, and you get your skating class. Simple. Okay. Well, mom will register us then. <laughs> until then. <clears throat> Was I talking to you? It doesn't matter. As long as you're talking to her, you're talking to me. This is our father's house, so wherever we want to step on, we can. It's your job to clean it. I will not tolerate it. Do you understand? I'm not your mate, and I will not tolerate any form of rudeness from you. If you try me next time, I will squeeze that mouth of yours. What's wrong with you? Am I your maid? This is what you get for disrespecting my sister and I, okay? Oh, agreed, I'm your maid. But I will not tolerate this from you. You hear me? I will not. You see this nonsense you did? If you try it next time... Are you trying to beat us or something? What's wrong with you? You better watch your mouth, okay? And you're very lucky that you, you're not in the banter right now because I swear I will break your head. Oh, you would have broken my head? Then do it. Oh my gosh, she beat us. Dad, she beats me. She beats me. She was one who beat me. Why did you do that to me? I, I don't you see how I am? Oh, why did she do that? Why did you do it? Erica, I saw everything that happened, and you need to apologize to Auntie Agnes now. But Dad, she scolds us all the time. I said apologize now. Sorry. Erica. Sorry. Are you happy now? Erica said Agnes beat her up and you supported her. Yes. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with what she did. Jeffrey, how can you say you didn't see anything wrong with Agnes hitting my kids. Erica took a bottle of water mm. and poured it on the floor where Agnes was mopping. Eh? Simply because Agnes scolded her. I still do not care. Listen, you have to tell her never to touch my kids again. Agnes did not touch your kids. The annoying thing is you actually supported her. Now she will leverage on that thinking as a right thing to do with my kids. Please tell her not to touch my kids again in this house. She's here to clean the house and take good care of them, not to beat them. Please, excuse me. Hmm. Do you know what she told me? That I should never scold her children again. I should never speak to her children. I should never touch her nothing. That I didn't train her children for her. Children that she did not even train at all. Children that she did not train. Me that is even managing to help her with. You know what? There's no need, Seth. There's no need. I've hands off from them. Well, I suggest you should just leave the kids. Don't touch them. Of course. To avoid problems. I won't even talk to them. I will just do my work and get my salary. And that's it. Better like that. That's it. My dear, let me come and be going, you know. Before those children will come back from school now and say that 
They did not see me at home. They will go and report to their, their, their mother. Okay, I'll see you some other time. Okay. Yeah. So, Evie hadn't fight the... That's the wrong English. It's supposed to be he hadn't fought. Not he hadn't fight. Fight is an infinitive or a present tense. And it doesn't belong to after had. You're so dumb, you don't even know what you're saying. Erica, that was obviously a mistake. And mind how you talk to me, I'm not your mate. I can say whatever I want to say to you because my dad is paying you, okay? I'm done. Better for you, loser. Because it's your loss. I wonder who's going to pay you just the way my dad does. You need him. Miss Joy, I really go. Ella, let her go. Mom will find us a better teacher, okay? Bye, loser! I pray she hears that. So we're not. Yes. Teacher, what do you mean you're not coming back? You haven't even covered your timetable yet. Listen, they are kids. You shouldn't take everything they say to heart, okay? Please. I know, I know Erica could be spiteful. But I promise you, I'll talk to her. Please. So you're saying you don't want to come back? Wow. Please. Okay, bye. She said she's not coming back. I wouldn't blame her for her decision. I've told you times without number that our kids are very, very disrespectful. And I don't like the fact that they don't respect their elders. Jeffrey, what do you mean I'm spoiling the kids? They are children, you know how kids talk. And I'm sure Erica must have said something to her jokingly, but she took it personal. Oh, please, stop it. You and I know that Erica is no longer a child. Whatever she said, she meant it. And she knew that it was going to hurt the person she was saying it to. So please, come up with another excuse. So if a teacher is resigning because our child told her what she taught her in lesson was wrong, then she shouldn't be a teacher. Listen, a teacher is supposed to accept corrections, especially when she's teaching smart kids, like our daughters. Mm. Yes. Erica is not proving smart. No, she's not. She's utterly disrespectful. And I'm telling you, we better do something about this on time. Before it's too late. This can still be fixed. Well, I haven't seen anything bad that she did. Until I see something bad, I will personally correct her. And moreover, I love the way my girls are always defending themselves, even when I'm not there. Ugh. Why am I not surprised? Like mother, like daughter. You keep finding a way to sugarcoat these things. Jeffrey, what do you mean I keep sugarcoating these things? They are kids for crying out loud. Give them a break. Okay, I'll be here. I'll be here to see what you people will become in this house. Hmm? Keep defending them. I'll be here. Well, they are not only my kids. They are also your kids too. No, no you can't say that. Because every single time I try to correct them, you come barking at me. That's because you always watch the house help spank my babies. I have nothing to say again. Whatever. Um, we need to get a new lesson teacher. That's none of my business. You and uh, Erica should go and find another lesson teacher. Jeffrey, I know it's not your business. I'm just telling you because I'm going to ask you for money. Excuse me. Fighting now. Leave us alone. Mind your business. Give it to Give me. It. No, seriously, stop it. You wow. You're pushing me. Stop dragging the remote. Why are you acting like this? Yes. Ella, what's wrong with you? Can you just stop pushing no. me? Stop it. Ah, what's happening here? Erica, why are you beating your sister? 
She's the one troubling me. Dad, I just wanted to watch my own cartoon, then she came and interrupted me. Agnes, and why are you sitting down watching these kids fight? Oh, no, I'm not sitting down and watching them fight, though. They said I should leave them. Are you out of your mind? So they should kill themselves? That's not what I'm saying. I just don't want them to give me the insult of my life. You, you know what? Um, I'm raising children in this house, not dogs. Erica, Ella, both of you, go upstairs to your room. Lock the door. No tabs, no internet. You're grounded. All right? Jeffrey, go, 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 go. Jeffrey, calm down. They're just little kids, okay? And kids, they do fight, right? Um, come, my baby, come. 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 Hope you're not hot. Are you sure? Okay, go upstairs and sleep, okay? Go to your room. Hmm? She's your sister. Don't... Just do not fight. Kids. Stop. Hey, you. Next time you separate them, not watch. What is this? I said I want plantain, not noodles. Uh oh, but you said you wanted noodles. No, I did not. Ella said it. Okay, when I asked what you wanted to eat, you said noodles. You were quiet, so I just assumed you wanted the same thing. It doesn't make any sense. I was quiet, meaning I did not consent to it. Okay. No problem, you're right. No need to argue. Just sit down and eat. Tomorrow you eat. I'm not taking this. I'll go tell mom. Do you want to waste the food? What's wrong with your sister? My darling. Take it. Eat. Don't be like how. You will enjoy it, okay? Eat. Mom, Agnes made noodles for me. But I don't want noodles. I want plantain. So, go have your plantain. She refused to prepare it for me. What? Okay, let's go. said she doesn't want noodles. And yes, when I asked um, Ella what she wanted, she was quiet too. So hey, 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 listen to me. She doesn't want noodles. Give her what she wants, okay? I do not want these kids coming to my room to disturb me because I'm busy, all right? Okay. Baby, do you want noodles? Good. Hey. Give them what they want. I told you. Excuse me. Did you hear that? Excuse me. There you go. Please take it. Please hurry up with the plantain. Yeah, hello. Good day, ma. Yes, um, good morning, ma. Please, we would need you to come to the school as soon as possible. Is that a problem? Because I'm headed out for a meeting right now. It would be in the best interest if you can please come now. Okay. Is that a problem? For how long have you been coming to school with your phone? 
Erica, you know this is a school and they have rules and regulations. You're not supposed to come to school with your phone. The worst part of it is the content of the phone. Oh my god. You need to see it. But mom, I'm not at fault here. Miss Victoria is the one who went through my stuff without my permission. You told me that anybody who goes to your shop without the permission is an offense, right? Shut up! Off. I said shut up. Um, please, Mrs. Victoria, is there no way we can fix this here? Please, not suspension. You can't suspend my child. Please, I don't even know what to tell her father. I beg you, I will talk to her. Yes. She will be a changed person. I'm so sorry, madam. My hands are tight. There's nothing else I can do. The decision has been made. Erica, you're Why am I being suspended? It's not my fault! Miss Victoria is one who took my stuff! I mean, God, why is everybody just saying it's my fault? Oh, God! Mom, can we stop by to go get some pizza? Are you serious, Erica? Are you out of your mind? Erica, you just got suspended from school and what's on your mind is pizza. Erica! Why were you talking to your head just like that? Why were you so rude to her? Erica, where did you get that phone from? Nobody. Nobody? Erica, who were you talking to with that phone? I'm asking you, who are your friends? Who, who is teaching you all of this? Erica, I'm asking you a question! I'm sorry, Mom. Gosh, Erica. Erica, this is not nice. It's not good. very bad sign like this. You know, every growing child has a vulnerable stage. And for Erika, this is the beginning of that stage. But Ash, you're asking the wrong question. The question is not how did we miss out on it. The question is how are we so careless? We failed in our responsibilities as parents and it's totally all your fault. The last time I checked, I'm not a single parent. Yes, you're not a single parent. But if only you had listened to me and paid a little more attention to your kids, maybe something as ugly as this wouldn't have happened. But no, could never be you. Hmm? As a mother of two girls, you prioritize your work over your children. Now look at where your carelessness has landed us. Our own kid is, is, is now known as the most, the most notorious kid in school. No, Jeffrey. It was perfect when you identified that we have failed as parents, that we have failed woefully as parents. So please, please, <laughs> stop adding salt to this. I will add all the salt I want to add. Jeffrey! Yes! Don't do it. No, it's your fault. Someone was supposed to leave her work just to pay attention to her children. And that somebody is telling you, Ash! Rocket science. Do you know what women do? Do you know what women do? They take care of their kids. You always come up with excuses. So I'm supposed to put my life on, on hold and attend to our kids. Jeffrey, before we got married, we agreed that no one is going to stay home jobless. Yes or no? I never asked you to be jobless. Oh, now I wish you were. Because if you were jobless, this wouldn't have happened. All I asked was for you to strike the balance. I try, I try my best to put our home together. You know it's the truth. Oh, please, Felicity. I'm talking to you. Stop doing this. No. To me. No, you don't try your best. You try your best in what? In replacing the housekeeper every single time? Jeffrey. Have you ever heard me say, oh, I try my best to put food on your table. I try my best to pay the electricity bill. I try my best to put fuel in your car. No. I do my job. Yes. All I'm asking is do your job. Let them try it. Do your I'm best. Try it. Do your best. Try it. Stop doing this. Am <laughs> I not a good mother? I'm doing everything I can do to be a mother. So if the kids are no. I'm just trying. I'm trying, Jeffrey. <laughs>
Yes, Agnes. Um, you and Madame were talking, so as we we're talking, me I, I now heard what you people were saying. But it's not like I was listening to what you were saying, no. But I just heard it, and as I've heard it now in my mind, I'm like, ah, I don't know. You know, the children. I think I might have a solution to the issue at hand. Agnes, what is it? Ah, so you know that your children are my children. And what I have to say now, the problem is that I don't now know how I'm going to say it and how you're going to take it as well. But I think it's a solution that will work. <laughs> Jeffrey, hell no! There's no way I'm taking my kids to the ghetto. Hell no! Can you just calm down and listen to me first? Huh? What for? What for? You guys should come down. Why are we here? What are we doing here? Your monster should drop here. Come here. Hello, mom. Yes, we are. We are there now. Hello, mom. Magnus dropped us in some kind of dirty place. But mom, we already have a tailor. This just doesn't make sense. Welcome to your new abode. Come, come in, come in, come in. Welcome to my house. Um, this is where you'll be staying for now. <laughs> Stop joking. Where's the tailor's place? We don't want to see your ugly house. Hmm, tailor. <laughs> you don't know that your mother used that story to lure you people here? You're a liar. Please take me on before my mother comes here and deal with you. I hope you know what my dad is capable of. I think it's your daddy that actually came up with that idea that both of you be brought here. What? Mm-hmm. Why do you think Magnus left you people? He'll probably come back. Magnus always come back. Mm. See, this is your new reality. This is where you're going to be staying for now. You better get used to it. Excuse me, please. Can you get us out of here and take us to the tailor's place? This is not why we came here. For your information, this is not your territory. This is my territory. If you raise your voice at me, I will discipline you. Don't try me and don't try it. All right, now that we are clear, let's go. Please take me home. I won't stay here. Take me home, please. See, this place is not safe, oh. It's not safe. Mosquitoes will deal with you. You that's very short with that mosquito will finish all your leg. After that, they'll come and rob you. Try it. No, it's okay. Stay there. Lights, go, go, go. Hey, hey, people are still here, frowning like this. Come and eat, oh. Ah, food is ready. Akara, Angari is available, oh. Ayo, I am not eating that nonsense. Erika, this is my house and I will not tolerate that tone. Ella, darling, come and eat, Akara. I'm not eating that nonsense with you. I'd rather go home. Kill. Okay. Whenever you people are ready, mm. come on, eat. Mm. Yummy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. This is so nice. 
Hey, hey, it's not your father's house. You cannot be dishing out instructions. Auntie Agnes, give me your phone. I want to call my mom. Better, but still not good enough. Auntie Agnes, please, can you give me your phone? I want to call my mom. Oh. Did you just say please? Oh, that's nice. Hey, but you know that my phone is bad. My phone is not very good, so... The phone right now is hot. Even when you put it on, sometimes it's not come on, but when you finish eating this Gary and Akara, by that time, I'm sure the phone would have cooled down. And then I'll put it on. If it comes on, you can call your mom. If it doesn't come on, wait till tomorrow. Mm. Seems you're enjoying the Akara. I'm just managing to eat it. It's not like I'm even hungry. Oh, wow. Just trying my best. I can see you don't like it. I'm not promising you anything else. You don't have to drink this one. Don't worry, try it. You like it. Can I have the Gary? Yeah, Gary is here. Come on, eat. Is there sugar? Sugar, come. Don't come and drink this Gary like that. What do you think you are? Pour it! Excuse me. I said pour it. Ash, you don't have to do this all night. Eh? Just, just stop all this now. Is this what you'll be doing all night? Eh? Come, let's go to bed. Eh? You'll be fine. No. What about my kids? Would they be fine? For the opt-in's time, I have called Agnes. And she has assured me that the kids are fine. So please. Let's go to bed. Stop Je crying. Jeffrey, you don't get it. Uh, My babies haven't spent a night outside their home. Uh, How would they cope? Are you sure they've eaten? What would they eat? They will eat the food that other uh, kids in the area are eating. They will be fine. Are you sure they will like the food? Uh, what if they suffer from food poisoning? Food poisoning? Yes. Come on, you can't be serious. You and I both know that Agnes is a very clean woman. So trust me, her kids are fine. Huh? Baby, cool. please, please. Can you just permit me to call Agnes so I can speak with the kids, please? Ashley, we've talked about this. Uh, Listen, we've had a conversation uh, about this. You can't speak to the kids. I've spoken to them and they're doing okay. All right, let's just go to bed. Hmm? Let's go to bed, dear. Uh, 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 you are still here. You have not changed. You are not planning to sleep. Ah, me, I want to sleep. Oh, take you. Just the wrapper. When you're ready to sleep, you carry this foam, put it on the floor, and sleep. You want us to sleep on that? No. If you try me, you sleep on the floor. Where, where were you thinking you were going to sleep? Eh? That's not your bed, though. Just move yourself out of that that angle. I'm, stay for a little while. I'm not asking you to stay for a little while. I'm telling you that in the next five minutes, when I'm done changing, you move out out of that place. Think you're in your father's house. Where's the cup I kept here? How are we supposed to know? If you ask, see, it's okay. I'm just here yeah, pushing and managing myself. Hmm. Let me go. Okay. Uh. People are finally woken up. Hmm. Now that you are awake, Erica, carry the broom. Go and sweep the room. Do what? Do what? I said you should go and sweep the room. Ella. Go and fix the bed. Wait, do you bring us here to suffer or what? What do you think you are? Oh, you're in Disneyland. You went to Paris. So sweeping the room now and fixing the bed is now suffering. That means you don't know what suffering is about to hit you. Carry the broom and go and sweep. I can't sweep the house. You will learn. How? How? 
By picking up the broom, you lower your waist, broom on the floor, and move it back and forth. That's how you sweep. Where's the restroom? The restroom. It's over there. They call it toilet and bathroom here. Go and use the toilet. I'd rather hold my pee that it is there. Ella, where oh. should I sweep? Come this way. Where should I sweep? Come and sweep on top of my head. Come and ease yourself. I will slap. See, eh? <laughs> you think you take your father's house? I'm not easy. You will ease yourself again. Come and ease yourself. You want to hold your piece so that you don't have to meet again. Why should you now? Go and fetch water and before you go and shower. So your bathroom don't have any water? <clears throat> There's no water here. You have to fetch water before you take a shower. So where's our soaps and creams? Your mother packed it. I'll bring it out for you. So our mother planned for us to stay here. When is mom going to pick us? It's too early for these questions. People should go and shower. Ah. Carry bucket, oh. Carry it. Carry it. Just carry it. I'm just going to fetch this water so that people will understand how it works here. Auntie Next Agnes. time, I will not be coming out to fetch water for you. Auntie Agnes, I never want to come to this well again. You will come close to this well as long as you need to shower, eat, stool, and brush. Uh. Mm. Are you seeing? Fetch. Can you see? You fetch. Can you see? You fetch. There is no way I'm doing that. I've never done that before. That's why I'm teaching you so you can learn. What if I fall? Why will you fall? Just this place looks like something that you're about to fall into. Do you want to throw yourself inside the well? Okay. You, come and carry it. Don't pour the water out. If you pour it, you come and fetch it yourself. Carry it. Yeah, go. Follow your sister. I feel very sure. Very soon. You will not stand. There is no way I'm eating these things. Oh, my queen. What would you like to eat? I want any other thing other than this. Me too. I'm, I'm not going to eat these beans. Mm, 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 mm. You think it's your father's house? You don't make demands here. You eat whatever I provide. Then take us to our father's house. We're suffering here. Mm. In case you haven't noticed, I wasn't the one that brought you here. So whoever brought you here, whenever the person is ready, the person will come and carry you until then. You will eat what I cook. I am never eating these beans. It's okay. You can stay hungry. You two, you're not eating, Abby. Great. Amazing. Auntie Agnes, by the way, I saw this note at the edge of the bed. Erica and Ella, by the time you wake up, I have gone to work, so you have to take care of yourself today. First, start by arranging the bed and sweeping the room like I taught you. Then, you take your bath and prepare your meal. How does she think we're going to survive on our own? I'm hungry, aren't you? She said, by the time we do the chores, we'll know what to eat. So I'll go around to bed, you go sweep.
<sighs> I'm done arranging the bed. Where's your food? Mm, maybe there's something else to do. Wait, what do you mean? The note said when we're done doing the chores that we'll find what to eat. Are you sure that's the way to do it? I'm not sure. I don't feel comfortable with my kids in that place. Uh, to be honest, I'm not okay with it. Ash, you need to chill. I know your girls, they'll be fine. They have great surviving spirits, just like you and Jeffrey. Esther, they've never lived in that place before. What if they fall sick or something? Yeah. Maybe they might fall sick. A little allergies here and there. But they will not die. We went to boarding houses and we're, we're, just, we're doing just fine. Oh, Esther, come on now. That one is different. The boarding school houses were so decent for us. Yeah. But again, I'll say they will be fine. If you think this method will work, then breathe. What is going to happen? Chill. You'll be fine. Do you want a drink? Stop. I'm just... They'll be fine. Stop. Don't worry. Good afternoon. Thank God. So, Uncle Magnus, are you here to pick us? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to drop some goodies for you guys. I want goodies. I want to go home. Ah, you let your mom to decide that, though. I can't take you home by myself. Please, help me call uh, Aunt Agnes. giving us the ice cream? I mean, our parents bought it for us, not you. Hmm. What's wrong? You want to take ice cream? Eh? You did not greet my friend yesterday. 
And secondly, you woke up today, you didn't bother doing any chore in the house. You just got up and, and went about your life as if you don't have responsibilities. That's not true, Auntie Agnes. I fixed the bed. I was waiting for Erica to sweep the room so I can wash the plates. Wasn't I the one calling you for us to go together and wash the plates? That's a lie. No, it's not. You just ignored me. I was waiting for you to sweep the room first so we can wash the plates. Must I sweep the room first? <sighs> okay. You know what? Ella, so you fixed the bed. Fantastic. For that, you get a bit of this ice cream. Erica, on the other hand, gets nothing. Until you start understanding that you're the eldest and you start behaving accordingly. You don't wait for me to wake you up to do your chores. Understanding responsibilities is very important in life. Thank you. Mm. Hey, Rosa. Mm. Do you like it? Nice, yummy. Next time, you won't wait for me to, to, to wake you up to do your chores. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. It's working gradually, sir. Like magic. How so? Erica does the chores now, and she has learned to greet and respect people. Then Ella is such a sweet girl. She doesn't have any issues with respecting people in the first place. Just that Erica has been influencing her badly. <coughs> For real? As a matter of fact, the kids learned how to remind themselves to do their duties. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, Agnes. Uh, thank you so much, Agnes. I, I don't even know how I'm going to repay you. Thank you. It's not a problem, sir. I'm happy to help. <sighs> thank you. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Thank you so much, baby. You're welcome. Mm. Can you believe this? What? Agnes reported to me that the kids are finding it much easier to do house chores. <laughs> That's not all. That Erica is now greeting people and respecting people. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Wow. Baby, that's so good. <laughs> I know. Um, baby. Now that the kids are behaving themselves, don't you think it's time for them to come back home? Please. <sighs> no, Ash. Come on. Baby, please. I mean, look at the changes that this experiment has brought us. Huh? For the past days, you've been preparing my meals? I, I can't remember the last time I ate your tasty meal. Huh? Listen. <sighs> it feels so good that things are back as they used to be. I really, really love how we are now. Hmm? Mm. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. And thank you so much for taking a chance on this experiment. Baby, mm. come here. <laughs> thank you so much for not giving up on us. You were a good husband, and even a better father. <laughs> I know, I know. And you know what? What? When the kids are back, I'm going to take even better care of all of you. Oh, hmm? thank you so much. My fault! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Ah. It's, it's fine. <sighs> Yeah. Fine. Ah, you 
people are coming in. Wow. You know, you don't have to do this like twice a day. Once is fine for now. Okay. Um, you both have been amazing. And I'm so proud of you. And I decided to reward my girls. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Take it inside. I'll just sort this one out. Oh, a lot. Ella, go get the phone. Give it to Aunt Agnes. It's mom. Mom? Mom, we miss you. Please come and get us. How soon, mom? She makes us do many chores. But she rewards us after we finish doing the chores. How is that? Wait, Mom, you didn't go to work? That's good, Mom. She's outside. Let me go give her the phone. Mom, help me greet Dad. Why did you pick my call? See, Agnes, it was Erica that dragged the phone from my hand. Erica, why did you pick my call? Our mom was calling and we wanted to talk to her. Do you realize it's actually very wrong to pick someone's call without their consent? We're sorry for picking your call, Aunt Agnes. We just wanted to talk to our, our mother. We're really sorry. Say that loud, I didn't hear you. We're really sorry. Good. You don't touch people's properties. You don't touch people's phones without asking first. Mm. It's okay. I forgive you. Auntie Agnes, are we going home soon? Because when we talked to mom, mom said that she will soon pick us. Your mom will pick you up whenever she's ready to pick you up. I don't have a time frame to that, but it's okay. Stand up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Good 
Elavite. Yes. Aha. Did you help me fix the room? Yes, yes. we did. Okay. Erica. Hmm? Do you understand the importance of prayer? No. Prayer is very, very important in one's life. That is why, as you are growing up, it's very important that you learn how to pray every day before you go to bed. So many things are happening. Both of you, you don't know how lucky you are. You have both parents alive, able to take care of you. Look around you, you see those children now? Some of them, their parents cannot even afford to feed them twice a day. What am I even saying? Even once a day, their parents can't afford to feed them. But you have parents who can feed you three times a day, seven days a week. That is a huge blessing. And you must continue to thank God for the life of your parents. And you must also continue to thank God for your life and for the provision. Just like you have your earthly father here, you also have God somewhere who is your spiritual father. And it is his duty to meet all your spiritual needs, but you must ask him. You must build a relationship with him. Whenever you're going through anything, something you understand, something you don't understand, you must pray about it. Learn to talk to God the same way you talk to your mommy and daddy. And he will answer you. Just like I have bad dreams. Exactly. If you're having a bad dream. If you wake up, you had a bad dream. Who do you talk to? God. Very important. Do you understand the importance of prayer? Yes. Fine. Let's try. Let's pray. Ella, you lead us in prayer. Yes. Careful. Ella. In Jesus' name. Amen. In, in Jesus' in, in, in. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Erica, do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. In Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for your food. Amen. We thank you for for our mom and dad. Amen. We thank you for me and my sister. Amen. We thank you for Aunt Agnes. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's nice. That's a good try. Erica, can I try? Uh, no, you can't do it. How do you know that? It's as, as Agnes said that failure is only in the head. Thank you. You've not even started doing anything and you're already struggling. Give it to me, please. Please, let me try again. Okay. Just try and scoop, then put it in. Uh, can you carry more water, please? Can we go now? Okay. That's enough petrol for today. So is this your house? Yes, I'm spending my holiday here with my aunt. Is this your house? Where's your house? My house is down there. What's your name? My name is Gloria. Oh, my sister's name here is Erica. My name is Ella. Nice to meet you, Gloria, and your friends. Nice to meet
so much. Mm. Come here. Mm. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I would have been a better child. I'm so sorry for bringing shame to you and Dad. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, ah, come on, Erica. Eh? <laughs> Erica, it's fine, eh? Dad has forgiven you, okay? Yeah. Listen, it's all my fault, okay? Mommy neglected you both. That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> but hey, listen. Mom is here now, okay? I will be with you every moment, okay? And listen, what happened doesn't define you girls, alright? You both are amazing, super beautiful daughters of two proud parents that will do anything to take care of you girls to the very last. I love you girls so much. I love you too, And I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> yes. Erica. I'm so proud to have you back. So girls, listen. You have to go and freshen up. Guess what? Mom made your favorite meal. Alright, All right, go, 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 go. Easy. <sighs> Can you believe that? It's fine, Agnes. Come. Agnes, thank you so much. You see, when my when my husband brought the idea and let my emotions rub me off, and I said so many horrible things to you, Agnes, I was scared. I didn't know how my kids were going to survive, but now, now it's clear that it needed a change. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much, Agnes. Thank you for everything. Agnes. Thank you, sir. Um, so you two, you have to go freshen up. I made you guys favorite. <laughs> I would just save the food. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I told you, Omar. I told you. <laughs> Dear God, we thank you for everything you've done for us today. We thank you for protecting my mom and dad. We thank you for protecting my baby sister, Ella. We thank you for protecting me. We thank you for protecting Aunt Agnes. Amen. Amen. Father, please protect my mom and dad as you're going to work and returning. If there's any how they have offended you, Ola, please, they are sorry, and we're sorry too. Amen. But I please, anything that we want, Ola, please provide it for us. We thank you for your food. We thank you for all the things. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Ajay. Uh, good morning, Mom. Okay, so I better hurry up so I can go clean the room and the house. Okay. Uh, you're washing? Uh, it's fine. Let me, don't worry, don't worry. Leave it out to it. Do you need anything now? No, I, I just came to see the kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when you're done with that, out, out. Wrap it up. You know, this change of environment really helped our daughters. I told you it would. I mean, just look at them. Guess what? I saw them praying last night together. Are you serious? Yes. And Ella was praying for those kids she mentioned to us. Wow. That's, that's wonderful. You know what? I think we just need to start praying together as a family. Yes, we have to. And I just remembered. Agnes said she's a graduate. Yeah, she, she said the same thing to me. Baby, hmm? I don't know. I'm just thinking of a way to appreciate her. Hmm. Funny thing is I've been thinking the same. You know, Agnes has really been so helpful to us and to our kids. 
I agree. You know, indeed, there's a reason for everyone's existence in your life. That's I'm very true. I'm so grateful for Agnes. <laughs> Me too. And you, my darling husband. Mm. Mm. I want to start taking good care of you. You better. And I have to prove it from now on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you. I love you too, baby. How much? Uh, very much. How much? Very much. <laughs> Reminds me, Erica, hmm? your headmistress said you can resume school now. For real? Yes. <laughs> I went to her office the other day. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when am I going to resume? Next week? Yes. Oh, I can't wait. Thank you so much, Mom. Hey, 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 hey. She sounded a note of warning. She said if you mess up again, you will be expelled from school. And I do not want you to be expelled. Okay, Mom. So please, Erica. You have to work on in your studies and in your behavior. Okay? Okay, mom. I promise from now on, I'm going to be a good child in school. Good girl. That's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, there's a girl I met in Aunt Agnes' place. Can I be star again? Wow. Yes, of course. You can. Can I bring her some clothes for some of her clothes are bad? Oh, oh, my baby. <sighs> Come here. Mm. You're so kind. You know what? We all will go visit your new friend and we'll give her some provisions and food. Is that okay? Thank you, Mom. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. I love adorable. you all so much, okay? Let me no. I love you. Let's go. <laughs> it's very really done, baby. I love you, baby. Come mm. here. No, Stop. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> <laughs> Like Ma, you, you sent for me. Yes, Agnes. Um, Agnes, you may want to stop calling me madam, okay? I have decided to ease you off the nanny's job here. Did I do something wrong, Ma? No, Agnes, no. Um, I was just thinking of a way to say thank you. So I've found you a job in the social media management of my company. Yes, I, I don't know if it's better, but I just want to thank you and for you to know that I'm really, really grateful for what you did for my kids and I. <gasps> what? Yes. Thank you so much, Ma. That's, that's huge. It's nothing compared to what you're doing for me right now. Thank you. <laughs> it's fine, Agnes. So you have to get ready and adjust this your workflow. <laughs> because you're gonna start working in two weeks. Thank you so much, Mom. It's fine. God bless you, sir. It's okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank God. <laughs> yes. And one more thing. My husband and I will say that you can live with us here while we Finish with the apartment we got for you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. You deserve it. Okay. Thank you. I really don't know how to thank you, but come here. Thank you, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you, Agnes. Thank you. God bless you, so Agnes. No, don't do that. Stop. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Agnes. <laughs> <laughs> 